Hello everybody, welcome back to Mover Ruins Movies. We're not doing a full movie today, just looking at one scene from Godzilla vs. Kong. And I know what you're saying, uh, how could a movie about a giant lizard fighting a giant monkey not be realistic? And honestly, there is one realistic part, which is when CNN is baffled by the fact that a giant lizard is no longer our savior, uh, that they ever thought that the giant lizard was our savior after killing millions of people by stepping on them. This is CNN Breaking News. The United States Navy's fourth fleet is deployed off the southeastern seaboard of the U.S. after last night's sudden Godzilla attack. A time of relative peace shattered when the massive Titan, once thought to be a hero to humanity, made landfall in Pensacola, Florida. Anyway, uh, so we're going to look at this scene. It's not meant to be real, suspension of disbelief and all that, but you can tell they really didn't have a military advisor or an intern that knew how to work Google because there's just some stuff in here that you're just like... Wow. So we're going to take a look at Godzilla vs. Kong. It's the first fight scene uh, with the two giant creatures. Let them fight. Okay, and in this scene, they're taking Kong to a place. I don't want to spoil uh, where they're going, but they're taking Kong to a place on a boat, and he's got basically a carrier group with him for protection against the lizard. Well, it looks like he's coming for us anyway. He's not coming for us. Him? Then dump him. Dump the monkey. How about we throw you off instead? Stop huh? calling him a monkey. <laughs> Okay, not sure of the backstory on this one. Maybe it was in another movie. I missed the Godzilla King of the Monsters. Uh, so I watched the Godzilla before this and Miss Kong. So maybe there is a backstory. But the last battleship, as far as I know, was uh, stricken from the Naval Registry in 2006. So uh, there was a battleship movie with Brooklyn Decker. But I don't think there's battleships. Uh, but maybe in this alternate timeline, I don't know, but why battleships? It pisses off the monkey. He also wants to ruin this movie as well. Kong does not like the fact that she's got battleships. And the battleship is dead. So neither Godzilla nor Kong like the fact that there's battleships. In this movie. I can't say I disagree with him. All right, Fat Amy enters the scene. And shoots nine X's at him. So, you've got a hundred foot tall gorilla and a two or three hundred foot tall lizard that's swimming around, and you're going to shoot a nine X at him, which has a 20 pound warhead. I, they couldn't drop like a 2,000 pounder or something on him? I don't know, but check out, we'll go back. I'm sorry, that's an AIM-120, so the warhead's still about 22 pounds, but this is a radar-guided missile against a lizard. Just, no. So Fox 3 on the ground, sea-based target. I wonder what the radar cross-section is of a Godzilla. So this is the old uh, MBU-12 mask, I think. Uh, it's been a while. Not a, not many people fly with them. No one who flies the F-35 flies with them at all. Uh, this mask right there. Uh, this is the old visor. So if you're flying Fat Amy, you're actually going to have everything in the helmet. So there's no HUD, which you wouldn't see here. So I, they could have just Googled this. Like this was just something that was easily Googleable. Uh, like to the level of Top Gunner, where you just were like, hey, this is a fighter pilot, let's just have him fly around. Yeah, and then he kills Fat Amy. It almost looked like a raptor cockpit. And so Godzilla kills all the stuff, drags the boat down with it. Carrier's just trucking along, doesn't care. There you go. Let me flip over the boat. And 
and now everyone is dead. So he flips the ship back over. I guess, I don't know anything about boats. I guess you can flip it over and then stand on it. I guess. It's fine, nobody dies. Oh boy. Oh no, don't do it. Oh, he was the good guy till he just killed 200 people. Everyone on that boat's dead. Uh, that guy's dead. Crushes fat Amy. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. So, what's his call sign? Chipotle? Um, I don't know what that says. Hip? Hippota? I guess there's no C there. Anyway, same thing as before. Uh, this is not anything. I mean, this is not, I don't know what this is supposed to be. Like, what jet? I mean, it was a F-35 on the cat, but this cockpit is not F-35. The mask is wrong. Like we talked about the visor. LPUs look weird. Uh, that's the right vest, but uh, I don't think that's right for the F-35. But what? I don't know what he's got hanging under here. <laughs> Fly around and come back? No, I guess not. Oh no, he takes a dude! He takes a dude and throws. <laughs> he throws Fat Amy at him. They got the side stick right. See, that's the best part right there, where he just throws Fat Amy at Godzilla. That's awesome. And now Godzilla destroys everything. That's that's like two billion dollars worth of airplanes right there, gone. Oh, but that is pretty cool. I mean, despite how many people they're killing on this carrier, which is very sad and tragic. So the M120s finally did something. Oh, he knocks another one. Oh, there's another 200 million. Gone. Oh. So Godzilla has now killed the whole carrier group. Just killed. And Kong caused this by going to the carrier. Oh, good job. That's a good place to stand right there. And they just threw depth charges in the water. That's a cute kid, though. How does this not flip the tanker over? Or cargo ship or whatever this is. Oh, oh, he puked everywhere. Oh, I'm a sympathy monkey puker. Well, there goes our, our carrier group. The Godzilla, our former savior, thanks to CNN. This won't end until one of them submits. Shut it down. What? All of it. That makes Guns, no sense. Engines. Shut it down. Right now. If we do that, we're dead. No, we're playing dead. Then we're making him think that he's won. That's not no. That doesn't make any sense either. Cut the power. Cut the engines. Kill everything that makes a noise. This better work. Or I'm gonna beat you up in the afterlife. Cause we'll both be dead. What's he standing on? So they make eye contact and he chuckles 
Well, he knows he's not dead. Why didn't he keep fighting? Until next time. Okay. You guys quit. No problem. I've killed 4,000 people, but... I'm okay with this. Dumb. He can't see you through the window. So their plan to get him the rest of the way was helicopters from the middle of the ocean. How? Like, how did they stay playing dead in the water? Because they knew if they moved, but Godzilla doesn't care about helicopters. And somehow they got this many helicopters. Was that a Chinook, a 53, and Ospreys? out into the middle of the ocean, without refueling, to coordinate to carry the big monkey. Yeah. Good lord. I don't think you could get that many helicopters in that piece of sky. No. All right, that's enough. That's, yeah. Yeah, sling loading with 20... We didn't even get Casmo on here. Sling loading with 27 helicopters. Uh, from the middle of the ocean, no less. All right, well, that'll do it. Uh, just a quick scene. Uh, it's a popcorn thriller. You know, it's fun to watch on a Saturday night. You know, anything better to watch, but... Um, they could have gotten an advisor. Something. I don't know. Anybody. And then they destroy uh, a key international city. I'm not going to ruin it, but they do. Um, yeah, science need not apply. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Please support Fights On, uh, our Indiegogo campaign to start a TV show for dogfighting, where we're going to put uh, two gamers and let them fight it out. Uh, not Godzilla and Kong style, but, you know, dogfight simulated. Uh, and uh, hopefully we will reach our goal and be able to film and share that with you uh, soon. So hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Mm -hmm.